President Trump spent his first day back from the G7 summit confronting and seemingly downplaying the new allegations against his son-in-law, Jared Kushner. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez is in the newsroom with more on this story tonight. Hazel? Well, Jessica, the president's first foreign trip has quickly become overshadowed by the continuing investigation into the alleged communications between Trump's camp and Russia before and after the election. Trump's top security advisor says it's nothing to be concerned about. President Trump is back on U.S. soil and back on the defense, ignoring reporter questions about claims his son-in-law and senior advisor Jared Kushner proposed setting up a secret channel of communication with the Kremlin and the Trump transition team before the election. Mr. President, is Jared trying to set up a back channel to the election? Nothing to say upon landing, but plenty later on Twitter. The president's post discrediting reports which sourced anonymous U.S. officials. Trump tweeting, it is very possible that those sources don't exist but are made up by fake news writers. Hashtag fake news is the enemy. In interview Sunday, Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly said he didn't know if the reports are true, but if they are. I think uh, any... Uh, channel of communication back or otherwise with a country like Russia is a, is a good thing. National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster told reporters in an off-camera press conference he doesn't find back-channel communications with Russia problematic. What that allows you to do is to communicate in a discreet manner. So it doesn't predispose you toward any sort of content of that conversation or anything. So, no, I would not be concerned about it. But the top Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee is very concerned. To have uh, the president's son-in-law, a key player within the Trump uh, organization, trying to establish a back channel with the Russians uh, through a Russian diplomatic facility, you have to ask, well, who are they hiding the conversations from? The unanswered questions about Russia may add to declining U.S. relations with European allies. After meeting with Trump during the G7 summit and failing to convince him to commit to the Paris Climate Accord, German Chancellor Angela Merkel told her supporters today, quote, the times in which we can fully count on others are somewhat over. We Europeans must really take our destiny into our own hands. And President Trump will make his first public appearance since his trip at Arlington Cemetery tomorrow to lay a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Live in the newsroom, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News.